In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to order a basic copy job. On the digital storefront homepage, click on the Buy Now link for the basic copy job product. Next, we'll click on the Add Files in the upper left corner to upload your document to be printed. We'll click on Upload Files. We'll browse for a file and select it, and then click on Choose. Next, we'll click on Upload to begin the upload of the file. After the file has completed uploading, click on Done. We'll use the page navigation buttons in the bottom center to flip through the document to check for correct pages. I can also switch to thumbnail view by clicking on the thumbnail graphic in the bottom left. I'll switch it back to spread view. Next, in the upper left, I'll update the job naming quantity needed. After updating the job naming quantity, next I'll check my media options under the print options. Clicking on media will bring up a selection of the different papers available. For this example, we'll choose 8.5 by 11 20 pound orchid paper. Go ahead and click on OK after I've selected that. And you can see that now that all of my pages are now printing on orchid paper. Next, I'll change the color mode, which just means if I'm printing in color or black and white. Currently, I'm printing in black and white double sided. If I click on the print in color slash sides option, I can click on print in color and then choose double sided. And now you can see that my image changed to show that it's going to print in color. Lastly, I'll select a finishing option such as drilling. So in this case, I'll choose drill and then select three holes on the left hand side. And you can see that the image has updated to indicate I'll have three holes drilled on the left hand side. Once I'm done making all of my selections and updates, down in the lower right corner, I'll click on Add to Cart. If your on-screen proof and settings look correct, click on the I Agree button. In the shopping cart, I can optionally change the due date if I choose by clicking anywhere up in the date and time or the calendar here. One item to note is that if I do change the due date to a time earlier than the standard default turnaround time, there will be additional fees applied to the order. I'll just leave the default date and time and hit cancel here, and then click on proceed to checkout. On the shipping screen, I'll choose from a shipment type. I'll leave this as the default courier. I'll review the information in the ship to to ensure this is where I want my job to be sent. If I do make changes, I would click on save to save any of those changes. Since I'm not changing any of the defaults, I'll click on proceed to payment in the lower right. On the payment screen, I'm presented with two payment options, pay using my org number or pay by check for personal jobs. I will be paying by org number, so I'll enter my org number here and then click on the place my order in the bottom right corner. You will receive an on-screen order confirmation with an order number and a status that you may also optionally print this page. This order will also appear under my order history, which is in the upper right corner under your username, you would click on order history and status. 
At this point, if you are done ordering items from the page, you may choose to log out, or you may click on the home link in the upper left corner to return to the home page and order additional items.